I always felt comfortable with guys. Let's bounce to America, start stripping. People are jealous, people are just having a hard time accepting you that you took maybe an easier path than they took. How big is it? We have a podcast set that is shaped like a penis. We have uh, two <laughs> testicles here, we have... Where are the testicles with Jeff? Guys, this is my favorite part of the whole day. That is what I've been looking for. This is the moment when you go, it's gonna blow me at the same time. Oh. <laughs> this is the moment where we're gonna do a podcast <laughs> here and we're gonna get a lot deeper. So guys, in case you don't know him, this is Alfie. He's a huge Hungarian bear with a huge Instagram following, a huge wiener, and two huge OnlyFans accounts. Quick disclaimer, Alfie got very fucking high in this conversation. How much weed did you smoke, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Just like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, enjoy the ride. Okay, let's go back in time, Alfie, right? Let's go back to five-year-old Alfie five? running around. Around, yeah jerking around most J likely at five already, years old I already okay. discovered my penis at five cool it was mind-blowing how much pleasure I could get just like laying on my stomach and start humping pillows and things okay yeah <laughs> that's a beautiful revelation I, I'm, I'm, it all started okay and where did and you then I always wished yeah that I just wish I could walk and whoever I want to see naked I could see naked I see that and yeah. now yeah my childhood wish became reality yeah with everything we do yeah who between jeff and i who do you want to see naked more i mean guys oh wait i think i i'm fairly sure we've seen each other naked with jeff yeah i don't remember your dicks actually Ooh, I want to see your dick more, more, because you're fuck fucking tall. Mm -hmm. So it looks um, smaller. Yeah, that's that's what usually happens. <laughs> no, I yeah, think yeah. you're packing a huge yeah. one. Hey, yeah. question. I've been sneaking on that bulge. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys don't make it here in this industry unless they have a huge one, <laughs> or they have a really cute butt. Yeah. You know, like myself. Yeah. <laughs> or, or a tall. huge personality. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but just objectively looking, so you'd confirm that you think that I'm more attractive than Jeff. Is that what you said right now? That statement. Just want to confirm that for camera. We're a little competitive, you know. Well, Not just if I would have to have sex with one of you guys, that would be Jeff. Just because I'm more into the feminine, feminine. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so you yeah. think Jeff is more feminine than me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Great. Uh, yeah. So what makes you, but what do you think makes me just more masculine than Jeff? Is it just like the pure presence? Is it the muscle mass? Is it the physical dominance? Is it my strength? Look, it's like, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with you. He's okay. just very feminine. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I, that's I'm liking this. It. Wait, wait. You but need he, to clean your teeth right now because you're going to have okay, this okay. the whole podcast. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to like it. Okay, people want to know the backstory of you. So now you're here. You live in Marina del Rey at a beautiful apartment. You, it looks like the fucking Playboy Mansion. You're wearing a Versace robe. You were talking about buying a Lamborghini. But how did it all start? Like, when you were five years old, you grew up in Hungary, right? Yeah, and I knew I was going to fucking leave. I was four years old when I already told my grandparents and my mom and my dad that Okay. I'm going to America. Okay. Was that, that before or after you discovered your penis? I already, I already knew about it. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew about it. Yeah. So, very simple. This is how I would put it. When you're watching this through your television, does this look like your reality? I don't know. Well, let me tell you, when I was looking at the TV in Eastern Europe in the early 1990s, Whatever in the American movies were and whatever my reality was did not match. Okay. So I said, I'm fucking going there. Mm. So that's why that's what made me come all the way to America and especially here to Los Angeles, like broken dreams and desperation. That's yeah. It's something to try for. Totally. So you were like a young, desperate Eastern European girl with yes. a dream that came to Hollywood. Sounds very familiar. Sounds very familiar. <laughs> yeah. Just couldn't wait to hit the first casting couch and get started. Exactly. Spread my legs open. Okay, how old were you when you... world come through. I see that. I see <laughs> that. <laughs> did uh, American cinema and film did it inspire you as well growing up? Is that a... Uh, not re Honestly, I was never like... I was never set on coming to the US. I, I always thought, honestly, I was going to move to Canada. Seriously. Because I saw... I, I had a friend who was Canadian. He was so fucking nice. I was like... I'm gonna move to Canada because I like the bears. I saw a video of a brown bear catching a salmon swimming upstream. And I was like, what a G, you know? <laughs> and now I'm That's hanging so out with, with different bears, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you know, I spent quite some time in Canada. 
Yeah. I was residing there for like six, six, seven years. I don't even remember. I did, that's what I mean. Like we've okay, we've met like what? Like a, not even a year ago. Like half a year ago. Yeah. You were there when Jeff and I had our first kiss at that like beautiful you know <laughs> mansion. That was like yeah. very magical, very magical. Very magical. But, and I've seen you online, right? And it's always interesting because like, you see people online, you see their persona, right? In the last video I saw of you is where you're like. You're like shooting your your bulge, and you're shooting your friend basically on a TikTok trend, and you, you I mean you, the swinging of your bulge, it's very beautiful, it's very breathtaking. But then I always wonder, what's the story behind those people? You know what I mean? You moved to America with the dream that you saw in the movies, but how did you go about that? You just the, the dream was to always take the open door. Okay. Always take the easier choice. Okay. My goal was always to. <laughs> somebody said people that work, they don't have time to make money, and it's people so sad. But it's true, true. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> if you're working, you're not making money. But you also got started dancing or, or stripping, or you were doing that for a while. You're still doing it. I started as a hair model. I was 14 years old. Wow. And I was al already rocking the national it's stage it's for hair here. for Hungary and. Wow. Traveled around Europe, got to Moscow. Were you like, did you compete ever in the Mrs. Hungary elections? Were you Mrs. No. Hungary at some point? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was not too hairy for that, you know what I mean? <laughs> no. So you uh, were hair modeling in Hungary, seriously? Yeah, I was doing nice. that all the way till I was 18. Okay. And I looked like, kind of like Tokyo Hotel. I don't even know. I, I know Tokyo Hotel, I'm oh, German, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, looked, and I had like okay. very colorful hair and it looked really fucked up, but. I was still good enough to pull the hottest chicks. Nice. And I was 19 years old. My mom always told me like, do not work. Cause these are the years in your life when you're young, when you should just really focus on people, partying, having fun, what being a mom. social. I love she was that. making enough money to like provide for me that I don't need to have a summer job. Never had one. Okay. Okay. And then um, first idea was like, let's bounce to America, start stripping. Um, yeah. Fuck yeah, a couple of years later, I bought her a house and she's a happy girl. Okay, that's how easy it is? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So you moved to America, you started yeah. dancing? Yeah. Okay. Gay clubs. Where? Yeah. Go-go dancing, underwear, $20 lap dances. I started in So Florida. you bought a house with $20 lap dances. I, am no ma I ain't no mathematician, uh, but a down payment on a house. <laughs> that's a lot I of lap dances. I bought it cash. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Wow, cash paid. I was I, I haven't even finished university. I already bought a house for my mom. I okay, saved up for. I'm not saying for life, but I saved up enough. If anything ever would go bad in my life, I have enough you to have start a, a new life anywhere else. Interesting, and that's one thing I appreciate you because we talked about this with Jeff also. Like I can tell that you are really smart and you're also really hardworking, right? You have that 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 business mindset. That's something that a lot of times we don't see like on social media. You see those people and you think it's just like a dude with a massive bulge on TikTok, right? But it's actually like a lot goes into it. I appreciate the hustle. Yeah, know? like most people don't really know that I was a photographer before becoming a model. Okay. I was first involved with social media on the other side of the lens. And then um, I got in <clears throat> into this whole weirdest fucking world of just exposing yourself. The first tic no, the first Instagram that become viral. Yeah. Uh, I was just shooting. There was no footage of me. It okay. was always just my pictures. And I met with this agent, not even an agency, a guy who owned an agency and was a talent manager. And he was like, look, it does not matter how talented you are, what a great photographer you are right now. At this moment, your one chance to make it in social media, to take off your shirt and start taking fucking selfies in the mirror mm, and keep okay. posting that till you become famous. And then you can just like move on and do other things. Because I, when I first saw you, like I didn't know you were a photographer. And then all of a sudden when we did the first <coughs> vlog, you know, you came out, you were like, uh, okay, Mario, now go in the pool. Now take off your underwear, you know, you sexy <laughs> motherfucker. You are, <laughs> right? Right? I mean, I've shot with a lot of photographers, Alfie. None of them like you. <laughs> None of them like him, you know? Not as good looking as him. No, he, I mean, you're a very good looking guy. I mean, uh, so sometimes much. you have this intensity in your eyes also. He's doing it again. He's doing it fucking <laughs> yeah. right fucking now. You know I what I mean? Fuck you, uh, Yeah, exactly. You exactly. have to be excited. Yeah. yeah. Like, even shooting people, you have to be excited about your subject. It's not going to work otherwise. I 100% agree. And that's one thing I realized when you were shooting me the first time, you were like, you were like, so, you were like so into it. And I was like, I was like, he loved me. 
I'm gonna keep going. I'll do anything you want, Alfie. Daddy Where do you want me? Daddy 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 See, this is this is the right behavior. This is yeah. exactly what I want. Like when you're a model, you don't want to think or what to do. You want to be tall. Yeah, because no, you do. don't see how you look. I like so that's how we met. And most likely, even in this whole entire Instagram game or whatever we're doing out there, I was more of a talent manager than a creator itself. I was making more with my talents. Oh, then making yeah. myself okay yeah. for the longest time okay and then they cut the the OF referral yeah and then I had to suck it up and make it myself mm -hmm. and not making it myself no he's ah! making it himself ah! <laughs> even better so nice so wow so when did OnlyFans happen for, start for you did you did you start in the very beginning of OnlyFans <sighs> I started or? at the very very beginning How, when was that actually I don't even know when OnlyFans it's like was started five years ago five years Damn. ago. Yeah, dude. Oh, wow, dude. you're one of the OG. O yes, the yes. Wow. And I started referring like big, big people that become huge creators on there. Yeah. So you know, that's how some amazing. people made so much money, guys. You know, like on OnlyFans, you can actually refer somebody to sign up to OnlyFans, and you're gonna make how many? Five percent. Five percent. It was it used to be five percent lifetime. So oh, okay, think yeah. about it. I referred like I was oh shooting with girls at the time all the time, a bunch of hot guys, and it was always like, hey. I want you to stop posting this shit on Instagram and I want you to make money with it. Yeah. And girls just like really appreciated the idea. And now some of them are the biggest creators. They're pulling over millions of dollars every year. Oh my God, that's crazy. Cause there's one guy, my friend Travis Bryant, he had a guy, Leo, he just got his referral. I actually referred him. I got him on, on OnlyFans. You know, I, I pulled him to the dark side. It's and, uh, the bright side. The bright side. The bright side. No, it's, I mean, I love it. You know, we talked about this. Like, stuff gets taken down, especially anything that's, like, even between men. It's very targeted also on social media. So OnlyFans, you have the freedom you know, to create whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did anybody get your <laughs> referral link, Jeffy? No. No? Okay. And I've been trying to set some people up. Uh, oh, wait, no. Somebody did get mine. Okay, somebody did get yours. I remember okay. this guy came up to me. It was last summer. And he goes, I bet. He saw my Instagram. He goes, I bet you can make 10000 a month. Okay. <clears throat> And he got my referral, but I think it's just one year now. Yeah. I want to ask Alfie, when did you find out you were gay? Now Jeff asked the real questions, you know what I mean? Like he asked, he Jeff asked is like see. right in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always I felt comfortable with guys. Yeah, I really did. Mm -hmm. Always felt like I got nothing to hide. As he looked at us with his piercing eyes, you know. <laughs> I know. I wow. felt like I had nothing to hide. Him, right? Yeah, no, you had this intensity about you. I mean, you are intense just physically, like your dominance and presence. But also, just like your, you know, I can't look at this guy for for too long. You know, I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So keep going, yeah. Elaborate. You've always been comfortable, with guys. Was like, like you played sports growing up, or like you had I didn't sexual. Like, I didn't like team sports. Did you have sexual soccer. interactions with guys? No. Okay. Just comfortable. Just pure fantasy. Well, I was fucking all the girls. Mm. So you were you're picturing, like, as you were having sex with a girl, you were just picturing a guy. <laughs> <laughs> that what you say. <laughs> His rush of mine. I like. I like where this is going. <laughs> hey, phone. I don't off. know what the fuck is going on today. I don't like the people are calling me. What is this? I don't know. It's like he has. Like, he has those three phones. You know. Gotta, yeah, gotta, all of them gotta, are on mute. Somebody touched my phone. Is, is it okay? Yeah, we yeah, got. Totally, totally, yeah. yeah go, I'm so sorry. No worries. It's maybe it's Elias. He's just gonna come and I'm sit fine. right there and watch us. Have a lot of this. Bro. <laughs> so back to the first time you sucked a guy. <laughs> but how was that for you? Because like, if you come from a place like Hungary, right? I know it from Europe, I come from a family of lumberjacks. So anything between guys is a little like frowned upon is not normal. Dude, so did you any, experience uh, about, like did you experience that a lot in Hungary or? No, like coming from Eastern Europe, thinking about anything that's not white, straight and Catholic is not normal. Yeah, that's what I mean, so, yeah, yeah. Someone like me blends in a little hard. Yeah, well, plenty especially like coming back from America for the first time, like literally I was stripping for gay guys for three and a half months. And then you go back to Europe and you know, it's like everyone just wants to hang you and like expose you to public that this guy is a fucking fat. But I was driving a BMW and I so did not give a shit about these people. Yeah. You know? I was saying you're dealing with like a lot of hate and a lot of like bullying and yeah, stuff. Yeah, all, all my life. People are jealous. People are just having a hard time accepting you that you took took maybe an easier path that they took and you had more joy in it than they did mm. you know like i really don't give a shit it's a lot like, of resentment in that for sure yeah. i traveled a lot that triggers people they don't like yeah. that i lived in so many different places triggers people like mm. like to drive nice cars yeah like hot chicks yeah hot friends <sighs> if anything it's something to be jealous for 
<laughs> us, he's Hello. Talk, he's, talk, he's talking. He's talking about us. Yeah, yeah. 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 So out of all your friends, you know, because I know you have a big friend group. You know, you have uh, Mike Chabad, you have Trav Beach Boy, you have Mario Adrian, you have um, Jeff Castor. There's many more. And uh, Elias, right? Elias here. is also coming. Cool. This is a huge guy from Austria. Yeah. Let's have him like, come up. Have Arnold him come up. Schwarzenegger looking guy. Like you yeah. guys got to see this shit. Right. Pre boy coming through. Me and my crew. What's <laughs> up, bro? Say hi. Hi. Show, show them what you got. <laughs> Look at this great Austrian tree trunk. Yes. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Mario. Oh, yes. Nice hi. to meet you. Where would you like to sit? Right there? It's All right, guys. We just got a new, we just got an addition to the team. We got Elias. My feet. Yes. Elias, right? You're from Austria. Yes. Okay, so the dude, <laughs> this is the funniest thing. You just walked in and <laughs> discovered the thing, you know, like, that's like the age, uh, channel age restricted. You speak Deutsch, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you from Österreich? Yeah, yeah. I'm from Deutschland. Ah, super. Hätte ich mir, hätte ich jetzt gar nicht gehört. Wahnsinn. Nee. Urgeil. Urgeil. Yeah. Ja, yeah. geil. Sehr super. geil. Super geil. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what are you guys gonna do? So that's that's usually what happens, right? Your friends come over, that and then you just shoot TikToks. Or what was your? I mean, this, this, is, this guy is the mastermind behind the masterminds. Okay, no, that's that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, he's no. like involved like <laughs> it's very big simple. YouTube channels, big TikTok channels. This, this guy is a producer, a mastermind, like everything behind it. Okay. Thank you. Thank so for the yeah. people who don't know, I've always been wondering and I've been fascinated with the Papa Crew, right? Because I've seen that. Yeah! Yeah, the Papa Crew. Because I've seen that, you know, you always, you call, you post the Instagram story, you said like, uh, Papitos, I love my Papa Mario. And I was like, I didn't know I was a Papa, dude. But like, yeah, what's the story behind the Papa Crew? What makes a Papa a Papa? You know what it's, I'm saying? It's, it's uh, boys like you, like straight guys experiment. A straight guys experiment? Yeah. Okay. That's what we do, right? Yeah. 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 Like, so if you guys want to see me with Mario, what, what is my girlfriend going to say? I think your girlfriend specifically is gonna love it. I think I, so. Too. I think so too. Yeah. I mean, she's maybe she will throw on her strap on and join us. She's actually pretty sexy. Like, I don't know if you've seen a really like fit chick with a huge strap on. Okay. But I was shocked like how much it's turning me on. What do you have to do to be recruited by the Papa Crew? Was there like a casting process? Did you have to do like an obstacle course, like light a fire or something, do a backflip? I think last year I was training at. Coast Fitness, and okay. then uh, I ran into him and uh, Mike. Uh, yeah, Mike Chabot. Chabot. exactly. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Alfie started slapping my ass, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Then I I knew. Yeah. Then you knew. Yeah. That was right there. He yeah. just felt it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, from there on. So literally, clear. okay. So you just went up to the guy. You were just like working out there at yeah. the gym. He just comes up to you, slaps your ass, and says, "I'm gonna make you part of the Papa Crew." Yeah, he just suddenly started calling me Papa Elias. Yeah, Papa, yeah. literally, same thing I believe, Like you know, I, I think I'm becoming a Papa without knowing I'm becoming a Papa. He just called me Papa. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, You're one of the biggest ones out there. I'm one of the biggest Papas out there. <laughs> one of the biggest. He's doing ones it. Out he, there. He's giving me that look again. He's giving me that look again. <laughs> oh my God. You're a top Papa. Yeah. So, and what was your story then? So you came from Austria. Yeah. How long ago? You, two years ago. Two years ago, and now you live here you yes permanently here yes okay yeah. in santa monica i love it here great meeting all these guys and okay flying back to vienna in four weeks okay for christmas you oh that's so nice yeah. have a blessed time with your family thank you ha have people ever said that you have like a little bit of an arnold schwarzenegger vibe is that something people because <laughs> literally everything about what you just said you know everything i mean except for i think i'm just gonna say it right now if arnold schwarzenegger was living in our time right now it would be him he no he, he would be in the papa crew you would have found oh, him. A thousand no, percent you, sure. You would have well, found he was him. Working out at Gold's right gym. when he was at Gold's gym, you would have thousand slapped his sure. ass. <laughs> he would have and finished he, a Hollywood career for sure. And he would have he would have done TikTok <laughs> he dances. Would like be smoking on our couch every fucking day. Yeah, 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 I think so. I think so. Yeah. Having five girls over. Yeah. Just like make sure he's always fluffed for the TikTok videos. Yeah, yeah. And he would get hella pumped. Probably he would work out twice with us yeah. every day. And I also ask some people in some questions, you know, um, that that people ask, right? So okay, first of all, what are Alfie's thoughts on circumcision? By the way, the person who wrote this, his name is Cut Bro69. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty clear. Hey G Cut Bro. Uh no, I don't. I I love my foreskin. I love playing with it. I like I like that people ask me for videos of my foreskin. So okay. I can exclusively cater something for them that you, my friend, might wouldn't be able to. Not anymore. I got circumcised at 18 years old, and most Europeans are uncircumcised. Yeah. Right? Um. What What about you? 
Well, there is there is some foreskin. Okay. I, I like the foreskin. It gives yeah. me great sexual pleasure when okay. I have sex. Mm. Yeah. And um, so yeah, you two teams right here. <laughs> Just yeah, like. it's it's all good down there. Yeah. Do you feel like it makes you more special living in America? Do you feel like no. more unique? No, it's uh, it's up to every person individually. Okay. Some people, I think it's a privilege being here. Yeah. I feel very blessed being out here, and uh, I without, know that without his foreskin. I see that. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> I know that so many people would like to be in my position, so it's uh, really. I also heard. I just learned this. I did a social experiment asking people. There's a circumcision reversal surgery you can do. So they're taken. No joke. I researched this like very hard, yeah, very yeah. long. They take skin from your scrotum, your ball sack, and put it on your foreskin to give you your foreskin back. Is it gonna be hairy? Uh, <laughs> that'd be the funniest shit ever, can you imagine? <laughs> I don't know. That would be my first question. I don't definitely know. definitely hair on my balls. Okay, okay, I can only imagine, yeah. That you are one of the hairiest people I've ever seen in my life. Thank yeah. You. Do I have hope? Because I'm always trying to like grow facial hair and like make something happen. I, I've currently got like 13 chest hairs. Do you think there's hope for me? Like, when did it start for you? Like, like five years old also, once after you declared you moved to America and found your penis, or was it after? No, like, I was like 12 when I started to get hairy. But at your age, buddy, I would say 2,000 milligrams of testosterone every week. Okay. Like, seriously, get on, like, bodybuilder style treatment. And then maybe you can have some hair on your... Just I, I love over. I love life advice from Alfie, you know, so far he says... I wouldn't do 2,000 milligrams, but if that's your goal to grow chest hair, no, I'm, you might I'm, as well yeah, yeah. Do, do like crazy high dosage. Okay, okay. So what's your experience been with uh, with that? With testosterone? Dude, it's a life-saving thing. Okay. I don't know how much is your body making. I think I one had, had a test and I was a little below norm, below the normal range. But it always depends like which, you know, which study you take. It's very yeah. sad. You should definitely yeah. be on the other side of this thing. Okay, so what do I have to do to be on the other side of this thing? Why do I feel like he's seducing me as we're talking about this? He's like, <laughs> just the go, you should be on the other side of this thing. <laughs> like, go, go see a doctor and make sure your testosterone level is in a, in a good place. Okay. Um, but if wait, it's not, make sure they put it there. Aren't there some potential unwanted side effects like testicular shrinkage, acne, unwanted body hair? Excessive. So, I mean, potential. People ask so many questions, right? <laughs> Why can't you just, like, accept it that it's very good for you? Very good for you. No, listen, it's very good for you. <laughs> it's very fucking good for you, okay? Question. <laughs> Would you say testosterone has made you a little bit more aggressive than normal? <laughs> I said it's very good for you. <laughs> You Just know? stick with it. Okay, okay. Steroids <laughs> till you die. <laughs> so you, you gotta cycle off them, right? You cycle no. off them with the... Never. No. How many cycles do you want to do in your life? I want to do one straight shot, an amazing, beautiful cycle like this. All right. All right. Wait, I got a question. So it might shrink your testicles, but does it increase penis size? Because I thought I've heard that before. Let me... So if it makes you horny, it will increase your penis size because you will get hard more often you will get into more action mm, it's like think That's about your nice. muscles like you can have the same muscle in the morning you're like all shrinky mm -hmm. and you go to the gym you get a good pump and then oh you have muscles actually it shows okay, I see that. Yeah. same thing okay. pop a viagra it will show that you're a big boy you do a little more test it will show that you're a big boy my shrink your balls a little i, I want to show that we're a big boy yeah. Yeah, we're a big boy, yeah. You big boys? Yeah. <laughs> you want some? No, we want to be, but like, I don't know, you said like, okay, how many, does it really, did it, did it affect your mood at all? Did you feel like, and the serious question now, did you feel like, and don't, please don't beat me up for asking this, did you feel more <laughs> aggressive or is, did you, did you feel like a change in your demeanor or your energy or your attitude? Yeah. Okay. I'm, mm, like, low-key bipolar, definitely super fucking aggressive if things yeah. don't go my way, but things always go my way. Yeah, yeah. I'm in a good place in life where okay. I just get yes everywhere. And okay. If I get a no somewhere, it, honestly, it throws me off and freaks me out. Like, okay. holy fucking shit, what the fuck is somebody saying no for something? Yeah. Have you ever experienced that? When you, you, you Did you ever say no to him or get in trouble with that and had, had to face that bipolar aggressive side of him? No, it's okay with me. No? He knows. He knows. If He's he bigger than me. I By can't the way, also guy. your energy, honestly, you have some one of the most grounded and pleasant energies to be around. Thank you. You just walk in, it's just like, so, I, mean, I love that. Mm -hmm. Seriously, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think he's a, he's a, you should keep him. I think he balances you out, you know. 
Yeah, of course. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's good for you. We're he's good. good for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Should god. Should have more normal friends, right? Yeah. Do you have any other? Okay, this life advice has been amazing so far. Do you have any other life advice, like stuff, stuff you've realized in your in your journey from like you know growing up in Hungary to you know becoming the next Playboy uh, mansion owner? No. No? Cool. All right, good talk, good talk. <laughs> <laughs> the build up was way too high for this my, one. My, yeah. li my life advice would be is just like, <laughs> say yes, do anything twice. Maybe for the first time you're not going to like it, but maybe the second time you will. I think you're inspiring because um, you don't give a fuck and you work your ass off. And mm -hmm. Someone told me that the other day. It was a girl I went on a bumble date with, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, that felt good when she was like, you know, we watch you and Mario and you guys don't give a fuck. I think as long as you're unapologetically yourself, I think that's gonna work out for you. You know, if you're trying to like, whatever, change yourself, please everybody, I think that's when it becomes unlikable because it's fake, but I think you're just like authentically you and that's why I fucking like you, honestly, you know? I think, do you get a lot of like, have, do you have a lot of experience with haters, like online or yeah, with- Yeah, I always tell people, it's like, for me, it's a little too late to be normal. Like, mm -hmm. I lived mm -hmm. a fucking crazy life and like, how you go back to normal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had that, it was beautiful, I've seen like the end, and then I said, this is not my life, I got divorced. Um, one thing for sure, nobody can beat me up like I beat myself up. It can be a little self-destructive, that's why I work. If I don't work, I destroy myself. Mm, okay, I see that. So I prefer working Monday, like like Monday till Sunday, morning till night, that way I don't have time to destroy myself. Okay, so you have self-destruct, I, I feel the same way, I have like self-hate is definitely something I've always been dealing with do you actually have self-destructive tendencies in a way where it becomes whatever like abusing your body with drugs or is it more like a, a feeling you have or actually beating I, yourself I, up over something or I, I just like to drain myself i don't know when to stop okay um kind of like my boston terriers they just like they like to have fun and they just don't really want to stop like mm -hmm, yeah. why stop when it's like it's so nice being up so sometimes i just catch myself that Fuck, I haven't slept in weeks. Like, I didn't have a normal night where I would okay. sleep more than three, four hours. And it's yeah. not normal. You know, days are become, like, almost dreamy, foggy-like. Okay, yeah. And you're like, okay, I actually need to take, a, like, a serious nap for two days. <laughs> yeah. But you said something beautiful because you said, like, you're going to go on a vacation, right? Next couple of days. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're leaving tomorrow. Yeah, and I love what he said about the balance. So, because I see you grinding so hard. But, like, on that vacation, you're going to completely leave your three phones... Yeah. Behind. Being on the hustle with someone, like yeah, non-stop, yeah. 24-7, 365, like we never fucking stop. They're like, the phones are always there. Life don't stop. So that's why we go away for trips like this. Yeah. Where a little bit we can put down cameras, lights, phones. So you won't shoot any content there? No. Nice. Close your head. Cause it just adds so much stress and then we start fucking and i start recording but that's how i want to record porn when i'm just into it yeah not because i have to or i need to make content it's a huge difference yeah watch the nature watch the seasonal changes the colors get some inspiration free my soul yeah. and then come back to la and Start this shit all over again. <laughs> I think you need that sometimes. Do you ever do that like a social media detox where you completely take some time off? Um, I like to do it more. Burning yeah. Man was kind of one of the few times. That was mine. That was mine. Yeah. Every year, like Burning Man was, was one week where I completely disconnected from the real world. Yeah. So like we need to like we need technology and it's liberating most of the world, but yeah. you really gotta you mm -hmm. take time like you you have like time limits on yourself. Yeah, so what I do I use social media. I mean I love social media, I love creating for social media. I don't like posting, I don't like consuming social media. Mm -hmm. Like you'll never see me scrolling on my feed unless I'm really like, you know, trying to find you know, I'm I was stalking you, I was stalking your Instagram so I can actually subscribe to your OnlyFans to get some inspiration and pleasure, you know what I mean? <laughs> Good. Let's get the views, by the way. Let's get the, this is a lot. Check the retention graph for this YouTube video. Like that, that timestamp right there, it's gonna go up. It's gonna go up. You know, we're talking here about like whatever, taking some time off, finding balance in your life. This is what the people want to see right now. This is what the people want to see right now. Do you get that actually a lot? Like with OnlyFans, like some fetishes, like people want to see your feet or yeah, stuff like that. Like, Special requests. I had seven pages just because of that reason. There was a page for everything. And seven pages? Yeah, they just recently got banished away because oh, I've made this rule that now you can only have two accounts. Oh, you had, you had seven OnlyFans pages. So what was it called? One was called Only Feet? No, uh, Feet Soul Fans. 
Feats for fans. <laughs> Armors. Armors. Used there. to be Armors a thing. Yeah. Thank you, OF. Thanks for killing yeah, everything. Okay, okay. It's fine. You know, just like less ways to be sidetracked. But it was fun yeah. to put together a feed page. Yeah. And then I had a page for a female photography. That's crazy. You're also the master of accounts. Because I've seen you have the IG. IG. How yeah, many accounts yeah. do you have? Like five ma main ones. Five main ones. Yo, That's I'm like, for me, how many accounts do you have? Do you also have that many? One. Just one. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Same. I'm the Austrian. I'm doing the efficient way. You know, just like one. Let's fucking go. I gotta tell you, Alfie, I like TikTok, you know what I mean? I'm doing comedy once and one stand-up comedy is my main goal in life. But then I saw these, like then we were filming the other dancing TikToks and I'm just, you know, I'm German. I'm not the, I'm not the dancer, the typical TikTok dancer, you know what I mean? Who so says I was, I was that? Kinda, I was kind of struggling with, no, I like freestyle dance, you know, like, like Berlin club style, you know, just like at a techno club, you know, somebody's like, whatever, doing a line of cocaine off a moose head on that side, you know, there's some, you know, <laughs> you know, Germany. Yeah, German, <laughs> you know, Germany, that's where I'm no, like, no, you know, in the Grove no. and stuff. But um, how about you? Are you doing the TikTok dances? Are you, are you? <laughs> Uh, occasionally. 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 Like 50 okay. to 60 a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Alfie showed me the ropes. He yeah. knows the stuff, yeah. I mean, you see that he was a stripper in the past. Yeah. Did you tell them about that? Oh, yeah, I, I saw I saw you move for sure, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, guys. We stripped all over the world. We made sure everyone is so were you stripper? leaving the like, clubs with a you smile know, I could see you in like as a stripper for like, you know, like Thunder from Down Under. I did that too in Australia. For real? I can totally see that, yeah. yeah. I was touring with uh, Sydney Hotshots. It was pretty Okay, pretty now bad. that makes sense, that makes sense. And you then look, they yeah. send those guys over here for Thunder. Down yeah, Under, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw them in they, Vegas, yeah. And they get like miserably low paid in Vegas and I feel okay. sorry for those people like if you're a stripper you want to make it's like very serious cash every night when you settle for Vegas you're gonna make a very very basic base pay okay. zero tips okay and lots of drugs and hookups after so yeah it's not really like I don't know what whatever is your focus in your stripping for me it was like get in get hella cash out and sh shot it for life okay and I was so happy, and like getting clean, get out clean. Yeah. Most people get <clears throat> lost in the drugs and the money, and like they go down like shit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> when you're stripping, are you always naked? Is no, it... absolutely not. Canada, you hang around in your jeans, jeans and underwear, both on. That's how you hang around, mingle with people, and then take them for twenty dollars lap dances. That you start with your jeans on. If anything bad happened, like when you were a stripper, like is there any like dodgy stuff that goes down, or anybody like tried to bite your dick off, or like kill you, or something like that, or rob you? No. No. Really. And nobody wants to fuck but, with that guy. You know. I, I, mean? I don't know. Like I feel like in every single situation. I was the one dominating. You're like you're here to enjoy me and I'm the mm, show. So yeah. you sit the fuck down and you enjoy this. Yeah. Like that that's how things went with me. And did you ever feel like if you do something like whatever sex work whatever area of that, you know, yeah. it could be. Do you think it takes away from your own personal sex life because i've heard that from from people that no it makes no? it even crazier yeah okay, well i cool. think about it sex the more i do the more i think about it okay because i will say for me a little bit when i was modeling knowing that it was very centered around my, my body and my sexuality and also there's a lot of sexual harassment going on as a model i think it kind of bl i was pretty asexual for like a couple of years of my life because i always associated those experiences with sex in general as opposed to something pleasant you know Mm -hmm. But I think we're also just different, you know, you have the chest here of a, of a gorilla and you just wire it differently You probably have a lot more uh, a lot more drive than I do in general Who would you first smash? Between Jeff and I, objective looking like who do you think is like I mean, more attractive? Shouldn't we like give him a runway walk or something? I mean he's just in this here like you know. Stand up boys, come on We're oh, good Alright boys Who's it gonna be? Jeff or me? <laughs> you just go <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he gets taken away, you know, he gets too excited for a second, yeah, sorry. Well, if they were girls, then uh, probably a threesome. Wow, <laughs> okay. Wow. You gotta pick one, you gotta pick one. Think about which one would you rather kiss? Or which one would you rather not? Rather if one of us was, was just transformed to a beautiful female, Yeah. who would you kick into the ocean? I'm not that uh, big of a tattoo fan, so I'd go with him. Oh, classic choice. <laughs> yes. Some days it's my days, but uh, some days it's your days. Okay, it's okay. Let's move to a couple more questions on Instagram. Good. If you could turn on the switch right now and change your hair and be as hairless as me, would you do it or not? No. Who has bigger feet? Who has bigger feet? Come on, show me, daddy. 
Well, I mean, I think it's, I think mine are bigger, You're but Jeff's, bigger. but Jeff's are the biggest for sure. Jeff's oh, are the biggest. Look yeah, look at that. Oh. <laughs> what of Mario do you wish you had? And Mario, what of Alfie's do you wish you had? So what's one thing that I have that you wish you had? Could be anything, could be like style, class, swag, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Okay. What's wrong with it? Is that a joke? The one thing we wish you have. It would be... How much weed did you smoke, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> He's like falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting cozy. Uh, I, think, I think your ability to speak German. I would love to take that from you. Prosit, jawohl. Yeah, it's going to be very helpful. Yeah. It's scary, though. If you speak German... No. You, know what, you know what gay sex means in German? Gleichgeschlechtlicher Geschlechtsverkehr. Mm -hmm. So very dirty, for sure. Very dirty, yeah. Wait, you didn't answer for him. What's one thing about Alfie? I mean, clearly. I mean, there's so many fucking things, dude. I don't know, you know? Like, I can start with the piercing blue eyes. But I, I would have to go for the, for, the, for the ability to grow hair. Like, if I could rock just a mustache. I saw a picture yeah. of my dad, you know, when he was young. He was rocking that mustache, and he just looked like... He just looked like... I mean, he looked a little bit like a like a like a child rapist or a serial killer, but yeah. he at least could ha rock it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. Jeff, what's one thing that you wish you can get from me that you don't have? Oh, I think I told you this before. I wish I had your drive and determination. Mm, okay. He inspires me all the time. I was just telling Alfie this. We'll be on trips. I'll be smoking weed, just vibing out, living life. He's getting my ass up at 7 a.m. to go shoot stuff. I wish I had your drive and determination. Everything else I'd take from me. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Just to make sure. <laughs> All right, this person is asking, "Bist du homosexuell or bisexual?" So it literally says, "Are you gay or bi?" I'm both. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. No, when somebody asks, like, I know this always thing. People always want to label sexuality, right? So how yeah, would you I label hate that. yourself? I hate that. I'm very sexual. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Like, if you could see yourself kneeling in front of me, then we're good. So you sexual, said yeah. you said something downstairs. You said. Some people hit on you, they seem thirstier than you are. Well, you I don't like that. But like, well, here's the thing. When we say, are you gay or bi or both, whatever, I don't give a shit. Like, if it looks like a dog, it's a dog. I don't want anything easier than I am. Oh, so, so they should you are have some a little dignity. Like, okay. at least play that you're hard to get. Okay, I see that. So you find this more attractive if somebody's like not as easy to get. You want to kind of, you want to kind of hunt for it, right? You want to kind of, of have a little bit of effort, you know? I see that. I yeah. see that. Yeah. That's one of the things I'm most attracted to, and also what I miss most sometimes is like that, that chase of like, you know, you're attracted to somebody, and then you kind of play that game and kind of feel the energy, you know? I'm getting into Alfie's place, you know, <laughs> trying to get into <laughs> Alfie's pants at some point, but he's kind of hard to get, you know? He's playing with me. He's, he's pulling me in. He's pushing me back, you know? And I kind of, he, he's kind of closed off again with his body language. I'm trying to like, you know, you gotta make it all the way to the last room. Yeah. When was your last sex with Double G? This morning. This morning. Okay. You told us that you woke up at five a.m. Yeah. See the sunrise, have sex, then you went back to sleep. Yeah. With the four dogs. How come you didn't call me? What's the favorite country that you've been to? New Zealand. New Zealand? What was it about it? Was it just it's, like the can, quiet, the you nature? Can, you can have four seasons in one day. You can drive in New Zealand, it's crazy. You drive and you are in like vineyards on the beach. Then you drive for one hour, you're in the rainforest. One hour down, you're in the glaciers. One hour down, you're in like Mordor where it smells like okay. rotten egg and nothing grows. And that's where they've shot a lot of the rings. You I know? really want to go back to Queenstown. Yeah, Queenstown was, was the adrenaline capital of the world, yeah. Oh. You like traveling, right? All the fucking time. Could you, because I mean, with what you do online, right? With uh, with OnlyFans, Instagram, and all that stuff, you wouldn't necessarily have to live in the United States no, anymore, right? No, I can live anywhere. What stops you from... Can you see yourself, like, living on an island in Thailand at some no, point? Or in the Philippines? No, no. You think you want to be here? No, I want to be connected to all these beautiful people in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm, I, I love see. it here. Yeah. I don't want to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I want to travel one week and then come back for one week. Okay. And then leave again. Like, this yeah, is yeah. beautiful. Just yeah. tax-wise, it's like, it's a little taxing. I don't give a shit. They yeah. give back. We make so much. Like, what, yeah. what does it matter for me, dude? I could make... 10% of what I make and have a fucking beautiful life. Like, okay, that's that's I'm, a very good point. I'm not money driven like that. Okay. Like, dude, I make good money here and live a happy life. Why would I suffer myself to make a little more money or have a little more money for myself and not to spend it on my life? Mm -hmm, I won't be yeah. here. It's just part of it. Okay, yeah. You're like, suck it up, buddy. Everyone fucking wants to live here. Yeah. Pay taxes. Who gives a shit? 
you pay like minimum amount of tax in America. It's it's a tax happening in the world. We're coming from Europe. Dude, people don't even see half of their money they make ever. Period. Yeah. And the other half they is uh, gone. Gone on other shit. Like <laughs> Yeah. Austria's horrible. Yeah, hunger is I, I, I will say though on that note, I will say that sometimes when I look at how much I'm paying, I'm paying the same that I'll pay in Germany by the way, because I did live in Germany. But yeah. like the thing is in Germany I was like I got free education and got all these things, yeah, you know what I mean? For me. And sometimes I look at you live in a nice area, you live in Marina, right? Sometimes I look out in Hollywood, I'm like, oh no. What's like, what am I paying taxes for? Like, literally, there's not even, you know, I'd be like, okay, if I live in a protected environment, I have like beautifully manicured roads and clean environment. No, it's not <laughs> shit. It's not. I was like, why am I paying you, so much money? You gotta, move, you gotta move to yeah. Bel Air or Beverly Hills or up to the mountains. Up to the mountains, yeah. The thing is, I just want to be close to all the stand-up comedy. I just like the proximity of everything. But we talked about this because, Jeff, you had like a... You've been bringing it up a lot. You wanted to live closer to like the beach, right? Yeah, I just want to wake up and be inspired every yeah. day. And Hollywood's so fucking loud. No. There's so much homeless I mean, people I have compassion for them, but it's like just crazy. Baby, baby Jeff, come come spend a few nights here in my guest room. It will change your life. It will change your it's life. It's a retreat. Yeah. Seriously. I miss the energy of like a quiet place. Whenever I go back to Germany, I'm like, it's so fucking nice to wake up. Look out, breathe in the forest air. And if I walk out, step, step, step outside Hollywood, it's like cars and I take a deep breath of urine Junk. penetrating my, <laughs> my, my nose, you know? But we should do some, some travels together. Let's if go. you could pick a place for us to go on a vacation. Brazil. Brazil? Done. Brazil. Do Brazil. We're going to Brazil. I've, I've never been to Brazil, yeah. Me neither. Let's go. Okay, done. All right, guys, you're here first. We're going to Brazil. If this video gets two <laughs> likes, we're going to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> One like. <laughs> I just, I just need to get my. Within the next three, four weeks, we can travel. But let's plan this for January. Yeah, I'm down. I want to go to Brazil. I've, I've wanted to go for that. such a long time. Yeah, I'm gonna fly. Brazilians love speedos too. I'm so down. I'm gonna fly yeah. from Miami. Why did the chicken cross the road? Okay, we lost him. <laughs> And then Erblin is asking, how big is it? Answer honestly. How big is it? Big enough, baby. Oh. Big, enough. big enough? Nothing, you know, kind of like a frame of reference, maybe like a... It's the most beautiful it? thing in the world. On top of it, it's also the softest dick out there. So if you get a chance, you should really experience it. Maybe not this lifetime. Okay. Do you think that's important, like having, you know, something, I mean, I'm a serious question, like, do you think you could be successful in this industry with like a smaller winky? No. No? Not, not for who I am. Yeah. It would be really hard to pull this without it. You have, you have very big dick energy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you can't pull that off without having a big dick. Unless yeah. you have like, somebody said this, right? Some people a overcompensate. <laughs> exactly, I was just gonna say that, right? I'm you can that have one. You can have big dick energy with a small dick, but then you have to have a Lamborghini. That's why I think like Bezos, you know Jeff Bezos, people ask like, oh yeah, he's just overcompensated for having a small dick. No, Bezos has a fucking jet that flies to the motherfucking moon. He doesn't need a dick anymore. <laughs> he doesn't need a motherfucking dick. The dude has a private jet yeah, that exactly. like literally that overcompensates for not having a dick. Bezos could uh, lose yes, both his yes, testicles yes and still no. would have a bigger dick than us. You know, like yes and no, because like show me one, one girl that will be attracted to this guy. Not for his what? money, but oh, okay. who well, he yeah. is. I mean, I think he's a smart guy. Yeah, I don't fuck with smart. I just yeah. fuck with beautiful. Oh, I think smart is good. I have smart friends. Yeah, but like girlfriend wise, it always pick the hottest shit. Okay. Okay. Like, it's, yeah, it's off the table. It's not for sale. <laughs> wow. Like, I hustle hard enough to pick the hottest shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I see that. Yeah. And I wish the same thing for everyone. It's okay. sad when people settle for less than what they deserve. Yeah. Just give up on their dream to sit in a comfortable life. <laughs> so sorry. It got so deep. It got so deep. <laughs> yes, wow. deep. Fuck. A lot, lot of people go down. And now, just to wrap this up, like looking at your life in the future, what's like one thing that Alfie wants to achieve? More I was the family. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, we got that. We got that. Mm. More yeah. I was the ceremonies. Get deeper inside of myself. I can see that because that's the interesting thing. Like I think. Uh, on the superficial level, you don't show that a lot on social media, but I think you're very deep. I can tell like by the conversation we've been having, especially off camera. It's like, you know, very introspective and yeah, I appreciate that. You know? Yeah, it's time to dive deep, guys. Also like how open you are to the world because, uh, you know, it's 
weird you know in some ways I'm, I'm some ways open to the world in some ways like people don't see much of my private life like, yeah you will never see the special characters i i, I hang in, in my life with you know like, i don't put that there that's that's mine i love that yeah I you gotta you protect to... what's yours and exactly it's like yeah. this this is like it's all yours guys have it take it zoom in like do whatever you want yeah you you have to keep something you, for yourself. I think that's very important. Yeah, I think I think what we need is 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 one more TikTok of the four of us. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> one last TikTok. Oh I'll my give you a god! Robe, All right, and the four of us Sign in the robe will do one more TikTok. All guys. right, let's, let's do go. One. Okay, guys, Pin. we're gonna do one more motherfucking TikTok. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. We're also gonna do more stuff. We wanna we wanna do a sleep over here and then we're gonna sleep travel over, and, party. and go to Brazil together. I think it's uh, gonna happen. Okay. Guys, so like this video right now, subscribe to the channel for more uncensored conversations every single week. And I'll see you in the next one. I'll be out.